And just a couple more things before we get into head sculpting. Just a few more things I need to show you. Um, the big one being transpose, and the slightly less big one being subtool organization. So we're going to get really heavy into subtools as we go on, but this is just going to be like subtool basics with a little bit of transpose. And one more thing. So you're going to see how this side is different from this side. Let's go ahead and talk about mirror, mirroring and mirroring and welding. So you're going to see over here I have mirror under deformation. So if it's in and across the x-axis. Now just like when you were playing with the floor, you got these little tiny x, y, and z. So you can turn these on and off. If you want to mirror in the y-axis, you can go ahead and mirror in the y. And I have multiple subdivisions. So let's go ahead and redynamish this. There we go. So when it says that, you know, you can't do this operation if you have multiple subdivision levels. Um, there's a way where you can actually delete lower, go ahead and do it, and then hit reconstruct to get your subdivision levels back. Or in this case, I didn't really care about my subdivision levels, so I just control drag, made it a dynamesh, which got rid of my subdivision levels. And then I can go over here to mirror. I can mirror across the Y, and that'll just mirror it up and down. Or I can mirror across the X and mirror it this way. So I'm just, and basically by mirror, I'm just mirroring the object. Now, what's the difference between mirror and mirror and weld? Well, number one, mirror and weld isn't under deformation. So this is just a pure mirror the object across the x-axis. And if you want to see the x-axis, turn on your floor and kind of go to the bottom here. You can see here's the red line of the x and then the z forward. So across this midpoint here is the x-axis. If you actually turn on, not x, uh, turn on the z, you're going to see this line right here is right down the middle of your object and you're basically mirroring across that line. So if you want a visual representation, there you go. So we're mirroring across the x-axis, which is that midline there. And mirror and weld is actually under geometry. I'm going to close that Dynamesh menu temporarily. I'm going to open up Modify Topology. And there's a lot of stuff in here we're going to get to, but mirror and weld is what we're going to talk about now. Uh, mirror and weld basically does two operations at once. It basically mirrors, which we've been playing with, which is mirroring across the x-axis or the y-axis if you want. And it also duplicates negative x to positive x and then welds it together. So what does that mean? Let's go ahead and do something a little more drastic. So on this side, I'm going to give him like elf ear. So here's my elf ear. Let's say I want him to have an elf ear on this side too. Um, easy way to do that when you're just in Dynamesh mode is just do a quick mirror and weld. Now I said it goes from negative x to positive x. Basically, if I bring my floor back, remember we were talking about have those quadrants. So you've got um, here's x and y, and then here's positive x and negative x, and then negative y, positive y. Basically, this quadrant over here is negative x. This one over here is positive x. So it's going to go negative x to positive x. It's going to mirror that direction, and that's just something to keep in mind. If you want to have, if you want to have the elf ear on this side, you know it's going to go negative to positive. So let's do that. So. Um, and we can go ahead and hit X symmetry as well because we're about to get some X symmetry going. So if we have our object here and we want a mirror, we can do a mirror and weld across the X axis and that is going to mirror our object. And if I turn on polyframe and if this is like, let's go ahead and I'm going to turn off X symmetry. I'm going to make this asymmetrical all the way down that midline. And then if I do mirror and weld across the X, it's going to right down the middle of that object, just mirror this whole negative x onto this positive x. So I hope that makes more sense as to what I was talking about. Um, let's do a what about. Um, let's undo that. Now let's say, let's go down here to deformation mirror, and I'm going to hit mirror. Let's say, you know what, I love this elf here, I think it's awesome, but I want it to also be on the other side. If you hit mirror and weld with it on this side, positive x, Let's go back up here to geometry and mirror and weld. If you do it now, it's going to mirror this side to this side, and then you lose your elf here. Not what we want. And um, yeah, so a quick save. It just did a quick save. Um, so what we want to do is first we're going to do a mirror, and then we're going to go up here and do a mirror and weld. And there we go. So right down the midline, and it's on both sides. And then you can hit X to go into X symmetry, and then you can sculpt symmetrically, and you're back where you started. So just a really quick tip on mirror and weld. Now, do I really enjoy going modify topology and then digging here? Oh, there's mirror and weld. Then going all the way down here and doing, okay, there's mirror and then mirror and weld. I really don't. So what I end up doing is setting up a custom hotkey, which I have assigned to, hey, which doesn't want to work. Hold on a second. Sorry, I've been 
putting ZBrush to the ringer and not restarting. So restarted ZBrush. So now if I hit Alt Alt A, um, that's a hotkey I have set up to a custom base mesh menu. And when we get to custom menus, I'll show you how to do this. Uh, but I have mirror and mirror and weld both right there. So I can do a quick mirror, 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 mirror and weld, mirror and weld, mirror and weld all day long. And they're right next to each other. I don't have to go and hunt and peck in this menu. Um, but we'll get there. We're not there yet. So we can go ahead and uh, sculpt to our heart's desire. We know what mirror and weld is. And we know, uh, you know about masking and moving and all that good stuff.